Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. Uh, getting back to doing some regular stuff now that we're back in the swing of things. I know that now the holidays coming up is going to put a little kink into the plans, but I got plenty of box opening videos along with some collector boosters, a whole case actually being opened, coming up on the channel back to back. I will intercede a few things as the news arises itself. Uh, I'm going to make another video tomorrow about Magic 30. Um, found some real information, some really interesting information. Some people's already reported on it, but I figure I might as well let you guys know my thoughts on it as well. But first, today is Saturday and it's qualifier play in day. Uh, the qualifier play in, as you can see here, uh, for this month is a Brothers War sealed single game match with individual timers. So you have to win six games before you lose two. Um, you lose your second one, you're out, so you can only lose one. Um, it's also a phantom event, which means you don't get the cards, which is shenanigans. But anyway, so to get in this event, it's 20,000 gold or 4,000 gems. So as we get into it, don't forget to subscribe. Now's a good time. But anyway, I'd like to show you this monstrosity of a deck that I've got. So, uh, let me just slide this over here. Now I've got other cards as well. But here's what I played. So I had... Hello, little fella. There we go. So two Lay Down Arms. I'll be playing White Blue, obviously. Two Lauren's Escape. This So Lay Down Arms is amazing, especially all the Unearthed stuff. If you're playing Heavy White, it's a really good card. Uh, Lauren's Escape. This card is amazing. Artifacts and Creatures. It's not just to protect... doesn't just protect creatures, but if you have an artifact that's really powerful in your deck, you don't want it to come off the battlefield... This thing is amazing. The Scry one's great as well. And you'll see, uh, as I go down the list, why this card was really important. So Yoshin, front, uh, Yoshin Frontliner, uh, I just needed some stuff to attack with. And it was an artifact. Obviously, Disenchant, this is an artifact set. This is probably uh, the best removal. Um, Power Stone Engineer, if you're going the Power Stone route through artifacts, this guy is a horse. Um, yeah, he's two mana white ramp. He's amazing. Uh, Energy Refractor, um, it's mana fixing. Mainly it says draw a card. That's why it's in here. Prison Sentence. This is a really good uh, removal spell. Uh, yeah, they can do with it. They can deal with it because they, people run a lot of disenchants and what have you. But the Scry 2 for 3 and buying you a turn is huge. Highly recommend this card. Urza's Rebuff. This is a great counter spell with the multiple abilities it has to counter a spell or tap two creatures. Killed somebody doing that. Um, next, we had a Foundry Inspector. That's right. My... So I'll tell you now, spoiler alert, my pull's stupid. Um, Foundry Inspector, so obviously I went Artifact with White Blue, which I think is probably going to be the best thing to do if you've got it. Uh, Thran Spider, three mana to make a 2-4. We each get a tapped, artif a tapped Power Stone token. I have learned if your opponent is not playing Heavy Artifacts, uh, giving them a Power Stone token is actually just irrelevant because they can't use it for anything but Artifacts. So uh, yeah, this is a three mana 2-4 ramp spell. It's just dig through your deck from bigger stuff. This is amazing. Tower Worker, 3 mana, 1-3. It has reach, and it taps for a colorless. It's it's artifact ramp at its finest. So there you go. Uh, Scrapwork Cohort, uh, 4 mana to make a 3-1. It comes in with also with a 1-1. One, one. You can unearth it to do it again for 3 and a white, or for white and 2 for 3 total mana. This thing will buy you enough time to get the big hoss on the field. And then, of course, when you've got the nappy Urza with you, you know, 2-3, you know, all your artifact gets plus 2, plus 2, um... That Yoshin Frontliner gets real big real quick. Uh, so does everything else I just showed you. Uh, and not to mention, for six mana, you can start copying things like, oh, I don't know, Foundry Inspector, so all your stuff is almost free. Um, or Yoshin Frontliners, or anything you want. You know, um, this is basically my golden parachute. The God forbid something happen. This by belly has to hit the field, and I'm just like, hell with it, we're all starting over. Um, but as we get into the higher stuff, these first couple cards I just showed you is what really powers out what you're getting ready to see. This guy. Four mana, two, three, makes a Power Stone token. If you get to four mana and you've laid this guy, that means you're now at five. You're probably going to be easily at six because you've already got a Power Stone from something else or another land. So that's great. And then this thing just puts everything in the deck back on the battlefield. Uh, enchantments, artifacts, you name it. Plus makes a Power Stone, getting you easily to seven mana. Uh, this thing, 4-4, four, four, gain two life when it leaves, uh, great jump blocker to buy a little bit of time. Uh, then we get into some dumb stuff. Yes, that is a worm coil engine. And yes, it is still busted in this format, especially when Urza starts popping out 3-3-1s that make other 3-3-1s when they die. 
get it plus one plus one on the one one because it's an artifact yeah you heard me right it's disgusting um and then once you get past that you get into things like this uh this is a three three for seven which is amazing uh but the best thing about this card is early game when you're not got your shindig going you can lay it for a white and two it does have double strike so it kills anything with a two with a two butt but the big thing is i know you guys can't really see it in here but uh this thing says draw a card here, let me fix this here you see this when it enters the battlefield dang it dang it, dang it. Dang it. let's try this again yeah yeah enters the battlefield draw a card bonkers this thing i cannot tell you the number of times i put 12 points of haste damage on the field uh and then bust somebody in the face and of course top it all off yeah i'm sure you guys saw it when i scrolled down i was trying to hide it i have a portal to phyrexia this just ends the game um i mean nine mana the opponent sacrifices three creatures that normally is enough to get a concession not gonna lie uh, except for the one person uh, who did like a static net on it and took it away so I couldn't pump things out of the graveyard. Uh, and that made the game go a lot longer, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that is until they put more stuff out and then I use my disenchant to disenchant their static net, which made this come into play, which means they sacrificed three creatures. Which means I was basically just board wiping their side repeatedly. So, yeah, bonkers. And of course, you know, we'll round it out. You know, there was ten planes, six islands. And the all-star Evolving Wilds. So, now that you've seen the deck, you might ask yourself, well, Clyde, that seems really overpowered. How did you do? Well, I did the thing. So, if you can't see here, I have actually qualified for the play-in for tomorrow. Um, getting back 6,000 gems and, claim, and a, the, the qualifier for tomorrow. Now, with this said... Let me give you guys a caveat on how long it took me to do this, because I did not do it on the first try. And also give you a caveat of how coincidental it was that you guys saw how good my deck was. So let me tell you, let, let, let me unfold the story for you. So I first played for 20 for 20,000 20, coins, which is not gems. Uh, my deck was okay, and I took a shellacking and didn't get past one win. I didn't get a win. So over at the other side over here, Excuse me, you can see I have 500 gems for that. And I was like, all right, whatever. Um, so I put 20 more K into it. Um, got a little bit of a better deck. Also played better. Uh, and I got to here. I got 1,500 gems. And I'm like, Ugh, damn it, man. So that got me to 2,000. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to spend 4K and see what happens. So I spent 4,000 in gems. And I got a really good deck. Like, so good that I got, like, to here. And I was like, all right. So it only really cost me 3K in gems so far uh, for that loss. You know what? I'm going to try one more time. Um, if you guys don't know or you haven't seen the top over here, um, I've got a lot of gems. Just going to call that out in money. Uh, anyway, so I played one more for 4,000 gems, and... That monstrosity you just saw was the deck that I got. So, needless to say, and maybe this is coincidence, if you play with gems instead of the free gold, it's amazing how better the card pull is. Because when it came to the gold, I just took shellackings. When it came to gems, I actually did pretty well. And my cards were pretty busted. Like the last time I paid gems before this one, I got two Lorens. Yeah, you know, the white one that comes in, Disenchants and Artifact, and, dis and has a Disenchant attached to it. And it's three mana. It's a two-one. Yeah, that's pretty good in this format, especially two of them. Just saying. So, with all that said, guys, uh, let's close this out as I do one last thing here. But before I do that, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. The comments down below is going to feed the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you've done everything you can... Um, and you already subbed up, there's links in the description for the eBay store, Patreon, and my email. If you haven't subbed up, now's the time. So Monday, after it's just, all this is said and done, I will jump back on, make a video for Monday to let you guys how, know how this went. Um, or I'm sorry, Tuesday. I think Tuesday's when I'll put it up uh, so I can make the other video for you guys. But yeah, so I look forward to that. I hope you guys are too. Wish me luck. 
And, well, you just got to do one more thing. You know what that is. Let's take this bad boy home. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, wait a minute. That says December 10th. Damn it, man. That's next weekend. Oh, well. Looks like you guys are getting the video on Monday of uh, the stuff about Magic 30. So, and as you see, 4K, 20K. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, until next time, be kind. And I hope to see you across from the game table.